Tell me something. Who hasn't watched Willy Wonka at a chocolate factory and felt just a little bit sad that a chocolate factory so full of wonder and whimsy doesn't actually exist? At least to the best of my knowledge, anyway. As Gene Wilder best put it himself, it's a world of pure imagination. Even in this world of pure imagination, you could only have access to that world if you had one of five golden tickets in the world. The odds of visiting this chocolate factory are absolutely insurmountable and it is better to be left as a pipe dream. But what if... What if I were to tell you that the residents of Glasgow, Scotland are in the enviable position in which they can visit this wonderful world of whimsy and wonder for just the low, low price of £40. It's too good to be true, isn't it? Oh... So, Willie's chocolate experience has opened up in Scotland, and it's safe to say, people... People aren't happy. People are not impressed. But why are they not impressed? Is it a scam? Or are people's expectations far too high due to a film that's 50 years old? I think it's our job to find out. So, let's take a look. An in-depth look, if we can, at Willie's chocolate experience. So here we are on williechocolateexperience.com forward slash hashtag rooms. Um, as you can tell, so far, so good on the website front. It's, it's fine. It might be a bit of a copyright issue here with the logo. Uh, but, you know, otherwise than that, it looks all welcoming. Indulge in a chocolate fantasy like never before. Capture the enchantment. Exclamation point. Tickets to Willie's Chocolate Experience are on sale now. Book now. Let's book now. Ah, uh, you are not found. Why? Why could this be? So something's obviously gone amiss here. Uh, but let's see the rest of the website, though, whilst we can. So I've got a feeling it's not going to be up for much longer, to be completely honest with you. If we scroll down. Welcome to Willie's Chocolate Experience. TM! Exclamation point. Dive into the whimsical of Willie's Chocolate Experience, a place where chocolate dreams become reality. Book your adventure now and embark on a journey filled with wondrous creations and enchanting surprises at every turn. Uh, now, the first warning sign that is quite glaring for me is that this is very much an AI, an AI picture. That's not even, it's not even a good AI picture. Someone's just typed in the prompt, Candyland. Willy Wonka, and it's come up with this monstrosity. It's no way going to look like that. Uh, this is the Enchanted Garden, however. Your journey begins in an enchanted garden with giant, sweet, vibrant blooms, mysterious looking sculptures, and magical surprises that add an extra layer of wonder to your long space, chocolatey experience. Navigate through peculiar but enchanting garden, collecting delicious beans of all colours, shapes, and sizes. Who knows? Perhaps you might be able to grow your own enchanting garden. You can! What, what are you offering there to do that? What is the offer? What can you, you, you're not going to give a kid a jelly bean, but like, put this in some soil, see what happens. It might take a few years, don't worry too much about it. So that's where you first go. Where will the magical adventure take you next? Oh, we are in the Imagination Lab. I think that was meant to be Imagination Lab. I'm not too sure. It might be a copyright issue. Um, what did he put in for the AI on this? I possibly ponder because that's got nothing to do with either labs or a chocolate factory. Like, there's some what looks to be vials there, perhaps. There's a car. There's a bloke. I can't even see what he's got on him. There's... It's got nothing to do with anything they're saying. Uh, that's under the fact that he's spelt imagination horrendously wrong, or the AI has anyway, but he's not fact proof this work here. But anyway, what does the Imagination Lab offer? In the Imagination Lab, prepare to be captivated by a visual spectacle, encounter mind expanding projections, optical marvels, and exhibits that transport you into the realm of creativity. 
This space invites you on a surreal journey where the boundaries become reality and fantasy, harmoniously merge, resulting in an enchanting and visually striking encounter. Brace yourself for an adventure that will leave you spellbound. It's like he's taken the same... Like, he could have made a fake Harry Potter land, and he could have put that as, like, the potions thing. He's not put a lot of thought and soul into this. Uh, but Imagination Lab, not particularly hitting the strikes. Maybe I'm just a chocolate snob. Maybe I want it to be all about the chocolate. Hopefully, our next section will be able to remedy that. Let's find out. Oh, no. The Twilight Tunnel. Again, not really having much to do with chocolate here by the looks of it. Uh, in the Twilight Tunnel, get ready for an exhilarating and immersive adventure. Journey through a dimly lit passage, that doesn't sound promising, adorned with captivating projections, enigmatic sounds, and surprising turns that will immerse you in suspense and excitement. It's a heart-pounding experience you've never experienced before. You're just going down a dark tunnel, and someone's flashing a light at you. Uh, the prompt sounds very much like the previous one as well. Uh, the Twilight Tunnel, that just looks like a tarot card. That. Hold up, we're going to have to move forward because this down here has caught my eye. What does this mean? I think that's meant to... What the fuck is that word meant to be? Entering... Entering? I don't know about words. It's uh, something entertainment. I want to say enchanting, maybe? I don't know. Entering... What the fuck? Ensharinging entertainment. <laughs> like on the bright side, at least the candy theme is back with this horrific monstrosity of a clown here, followed by whatever how's this meant to be. Um, but I don't know what it's meant to. I suppose we should just read about it. Experience captivating live performances featuring charming characters singing original catchy tunes. I would pay so much money to see that, to be fair. Marvel uh, extraordinary props, oversized lollipops, and a paradise of sweet treats. This event guarantees an immersive and delightful entertainment experience suitable for ages free and up. Um, once again, they've, they've he's not fact checked or spell checked his AI. Kakigating is one of the buzz, but the first buzzword you have to describe it, and it's Kakigating apparently. Live performances, catchy tons. Hmm. What the? F Exercise. What? <laughs> what is this one? Exercisery? Exercise. I don't know. Exercisery lollipops. Is that meant to be extraordinary? I ponder. A pasadies. Of sweet treats. Oh my no, a pasadies of seat Holy moly, this is unreadable. A pasadise of sweet teats. Hmm. He's he's not put any thought in it, but like we're we're beating a dead horse, but I really it boggles the mind. Oh, practical information. Dates from February twenty fourth, twenty twenty four to twenty fifth of February. Unfortunately, it's the twenty seventh of February. We've missed out. Fuck's sake, I'm furious. Um, duration is 45 minutes to an hour long at the Box Hub Warehouse in Glasgow. We can look at some more info if need be. Oh. Okay, well, it's taking us straight to the bottom anyway. Oh, we've got an FAQ. Now, this is done by the House of Illuminati. You can contact them if you want to. Media partner is coming soon. I've got a feeling they're not going to be coming soon. To be completely honest with you. Now we can look at the experience. Oh, it's the exact same. Location will be the exact same. Let's look at the FAQs. What upon seeing this website has made you think, hmm, I need to have this question answered. Well, we have to click it to reveal it. Do you have any questions? Maybe you can find the answers here. Alright, first question we have: what can I expect from Willie's chocolate experience? Step into the magical realm of Willy's Chocolate Experience, a universe where confectionery dreams are brought to life. Explore an array of themed rooms like the Enchanted Garden and the Vision Room. That wasn't in the original script. And themed rooms like, oh, we've already read that part, the Lemonade Gallery, each offering unique and delightful surprises. Not only will you witness the magic of chocolate, but you'll also have the chance to taste it. Prepare for a journey filled with delicious treats, enchanted adventures, and moments worth capturing. Be sure to get your tickets for this extraordinary experience. But what does the ticket include? 
General admission, simple as that really, isn't it? Includes entry to the experience for any person for an up years old family ticket. Includes the entry to the experience two adults and two children. Carer's ticket. Includes, he's not categorised this and it's really annoying because it's like it's the same sentence. Um, anyway, carer and allows access for fast access to the experience. Blue light discount. We operate a blue light scheme for members of the NHS and public services. With booking, please enter the code. Just enter the, what the hell? He's just put the code right in. Billy, what are you doing? Oh yeah, we know the person. Not personally who's done this, but it's quite an interesting rabbit hole. And I don't think it's one we can get done in this video. So perhaps we'll go down good old Billy in another video at some point. I cannot go on the available days. We have more dates in the future. This is us. This is a situation we find ourselves in right now. It's the 27th. We want to go now. Should there be a capacity when you arrive, then you will be able to enter without any problems. In the... What? What? What does this mean? I cannot go on the available dates. We have any more dates in the future. To me, that... In the, you know, I can't go on Saturday. Will you be open on another Saturday? Or will you be open on a Sunday? To which he's replied... Should there be capacity when you arrive, then you will be able to enter without any problems. In the event that this is not the case, we may ask you wait a bit. What? Is that me, Billy? What are you talking about? That's not, that's not the answer to any question that's been asked. What is he on about? Should, have I read that wrong? Am I going mad? Should there be capacity when you arrive? No. No. He's... <laughs> What's he talking about? He's basically... He's popped the wrong answer, I think. I think the answer... The, the question should be something on the lines of... Can I arrive if it's fully booked? Can you squeeze me in, maybe? I'm fine with waiting a bit, but do I have to wait? What is he on about? What? Well, let's, let's move on. Uh, what is the refund and exchange policy? Now, I've got a feeling this is going to be... The most asked question around. And uh, let's find out if we can get the refund, shall we? Tickets are not refundable. The terms and conditions on non-refundable tickets are agreed upon prior to purchase. In special circumstances, like the one that's coming around the corner, we can help you change your ticket for another day. Oh no, and certain that it's not yet sold out. Contest her at support at House of Illumination and for more information make sure to enter the correct ID for your ticket. Oh, it's the same question as the one just before. Quite literally, I cannot go on the available dates. We have more dates in the future. Currently, the available dates are those that you can see on our website. <laughs> That's not answering it is answering the question, but it's not well. However, the chocolate factory is magical. So more sessions may be available in the future. Just say we don't know. Uh, what is the refund exchange policy? Now, as you're noticing, we've just basically got a rotational merry-go-round of the same question here. Uh, I get the exact same answer. Uh, do you offer group discounts? For groups of 12 or more people, discounted tickets can be purchased with the ticket type group access. Does the event take place in an indoor or outdoor venue? Very good question. The experience we held in an indoor venue. Straight to the point, I can respect that at least. Is it a suitable environment for children? The event contains some interactions that may be unsuitable for children under five years old. However, we recommend the items. Children free and under do not require a ticket. That's good of him, he can at least take that. Can I bring animals? No, basically. Is there a dress code? Casual, dressing up is encouraged. We are operating within all current government guidelines. Mask wearing is encouraged but remains optional and hand sanitizing stations are throughout the experience. You receive fever credit? What the hell's fever credit? You will receive fever credit and flexible rescheduling in the event is postponed due to COVID. All right, so, all in all, a brilliant experience. Unfortunately, it's an experience that we just cannot book. Why won't you let us book it? Um, let's find out because as it turns out, it's not particularly good. You know that question we asked at the start of the video? Are people overreacting? I don't think they are. I think 
I think whilst it is a little bit silly to book this ticket when you've seen this website, I don't think it's entirely wrong of them to be a bit upset by what we're about to witness. Let's find out, shall we? Literally nothing. Oh my god. My heart sank. It was it wasn't even like fear, it was just I just felt sad because I was aware of how many kids were gonna be coming through. Um and like just looking around the place and just being like, This is this is terrible. Like um, you know, we we were told to hand the kids like a couple of jelly beans and a quarter cup of lemonade at the end. Um, I went up to the, the people running it as well and had asked about like, I was like, what do you want me to do with this script? Because um, none of the things, like the special effects and things like that, none of that's there. What do you want me to do? And I was just told, do whatever I want. Now look, it's not gonna win any awards for Shock of the Century, but shockingly, Willie's Chocolate Wonderland, or Billy Cole's Chocolate Wonderland, we should probably call it, uh, has ended up being a complete fucking farce. Who would have seen it coming? Looking out of our professional website, who would have thought? It turns out the guy has literally just popped a few props in a warehouse and hoped for the best. Hoped that no one would really kick up a fuss. Uh, quite the opposite. The police were called. People were upset. Now, shockingly, there's not a lot of videos I can find on this event. So, I had to troll through a few unfortunately daily mail articles and the such uh to find whatever pictures or articles i could find so we're gonna go through them just so you don't have to so let's have a quick look at what we've got here in terms of pictures now originally i thought ah oh, i see what they're doing here as you remember in the film Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. It's in the drab streets of London. The gates are pretty much normal. There's the factory there. Um, and then once you're inside, that's when it becomes magical and wonderful. And I thought maybe we're doing the same thing here. Maybe we're just putting up those benches that you get to sit on in year six. You've got the factory. You've got the, the purple tarp. And once you go in, that's when the magic begins. Uh, unfortunately, it's not the case because <laughs> as soon as you go in, it's basically it's that same warehouse. It somehow looks more drab uh, the further you get into it. Apparently, the experience was only about 30 seconds long. Uh, I like how they figured they'd put the, the same AI picture that you saw on the website on a little bit of tarp. And I thought, that will do. That will do the trick. There's a TV there. It's not even plugged in. Uh, if we go on to some articles itself. Now, it's it's even worse than the pictures would portray, as it turns out. Uh, it says here, despite organisers posting pictures on social media of thousands upon thousands of sweets and lollies in the daily up to the end, it was claimed by one parent their children were handed just a couple jelly babies and a quarter of a can of Bars lemonade. What? Oh no, limeade. I apologise. Limeade. An important distinction. What do we mean by a quarter of a can? Did, I don't. How did she? How did we measure that out? I'm not. On, I'm not against the person. I'm just more rewarded by that. Uh, the article continues. The actual experience took two minutes to walk through because there was nothing there. When we arrived, so many <laughs> when we arrived, so many people had complained that we shut the whole thing down. You couldn't even call an event. It was terrible, and. As you can see, the pictures really are advertising this. We move on to our next picture. Um, it looks like they've got a loading crane or something there to the left. I'm not entirely sure what it is. You've got a little rainbow just off in the distance. Uh, it's not looking particularly magical. I don't think they were allowed to colour the inside of the warehouse. I feel that would have gone a long way. Uh, if we move on to our next picture, there's a little... There's some... some there's, there's hope in the next picture and I think that's what makes it more sad you've got your two flumps you've just got your one singular giant gummy bear <laughs> and then two stairs that lead to exactly nothing 
once again, it's just upsetting to witness from all accounts, isn't it? If not a little bit funny, and I don't, I don't want to be a dickhead in that regard, but it is quite funny. Um, we continue in the article except that I've managed to drag out. The guy was just saying, just have a wee walk through and you'll get a refund. One guy. <laughs> <laughs> One girl dressed in an Oompa Loompa outfit was bawling and everyone was kicking off, Mrs. Graham said. Uh, the organisers put out a bit of cardboard which said the event had been cancelled. <laughs> How old was the girl, I ponder, because either it's a five-year-old girl dressed as an Oompa Loompa up and crying. Or it's like a woman, a woman in her thirties, dressed up as an Oompa Loompa, absolutely bawling her eyes out. Oh, good lord! One table appears to be refreshments, and they've quoted refreshments there. Uh, one table appears to be a refreshment stand with a few clear plastic cups placed on top, which are barely half full. While a glum-looking Oompa Loompa appears to be conducting experiments in another snap. Now, I feel quite bad for the actor in this regard, especially that the actual media itself has put her name down as a glum-looking actor. Uh, however, if you see the picture, they, they, they do have a point, unfortunately. She's, um, she's not looking too happy about the situation. It doesn't even... It's a real picture. It doesn't look like it should be a real picture. There's, some, there's something almost sinister about it. That poor actor is... She's trying her best. This is probably her biggest gig she's ever had. And it's just been tied to this complete and utter farce. And it also looks like she's in a meth lab, let's be honest. She's not looking happy about the situation. You can't be too surprised. A Facebook page has been set up by people left disappointed by the experience. I will pay any money I can to get my hands on that Facebook group. I want to find it. Uh, one person claiming to be an actor posted a script into the group. They say they had been told to learn in the months leading up to event, only to claim they were told to abandon it last minute and improvise. Clarifying their intentions and fighting off allegations of dishonest marketing from the mob, Mr. Cole said, we guarantee a full refund from Monday. We used artificial intelligence to create some images, just some, for the event. Really, Billy? Really? So, so sorry to everybody for, you know, this year and other disappointment. Uh, now, it turns out that Billy, he's quite notorious for this. He's an interesting character, to say the least. It's not his first time. He appears to be, the general consensus is he's a bit of a scam artist. And I think this might be his magnum opus in terms of scamming. But maybe we'll hear from him again. Reading about him had led me down a little bit of an internet rabbit hole with the fella. All in all, what an experience it must have been for everyone involved. And isn't that a golden ticket in itself, really? Uh, we'll see... If we might revisit the exploits and adventures of Billy Cole again in the future because it's he's the gift that keeps on giving. Uh, but like I said, I think this might be his coup de grace, so to speak. We will find out. Hopefully, in the near future, we might get more. We might get more stories about the Wonka experience. We will look at the internet with bated eyes on what adventures Billy Cole and his magical empire will create next. I'm amazed the website's still up, to be honest with you. Uh, but yeah, we'll keep an eye out for it. Thanks very much for watching. Consider leaving a like. This is the first time we've done sort of react nonsense like this. I quite enjoyed making it. Uh, we'll see what else the world will bring us again. Thank you very much. Have a good day.